Hey guys, welcome back to Ukulele in the Impossible Lair. We just beat Chapter 9 and listened to some awesome music. I hereby declare this spot Breeze Easy Peak. <laughs> nice little play on former projects. Okay, so we gotta find Chapter 10 now. Let's go down the little cauldron because we know that led to it. It's funny how being in this overworld. I mean, I did see that. I saw a tweet by David Wise. Because somebody, I guess, mentioned him. And uh, he was saying that the, the soundtracks that you hear in this overworld are all Grant Kirkhope, for the most part, if not the entirety. And you can definitely tell. But all right, so we know that this is chapter 10 and there's some crazy stuff. This room is huge. Let's just play chapter 10 as it is for now. And then we'll see about what's going on in here. Yes! Just comes in with the punchy bass right away. I love it already. Looks like we're, we're slowing things down and having a good old fashioned rope level. Also, there's something down there in the water. And there's a minecart in the background carrying ore. Hang on, get out of my way. Whoa! There's a coin, there you go. That was kind of easy to find. I guess it makes you think that the water is like a death trap, but it's not. You can swim, man. Yeah, I'm really loving the bass tone going on here. I'm telling you, you gotta play this game with headphones. You really gotta play every game with headphones. There's audio qualities you can't hear otherwise. Oh, okay. Let's have a jumping old time there, little buddy. I like this. I like environments like this. Very subdued, dank mining area. Speaking of mining area, that's one thing I've noticed. There are no minecart stages. So far, anyway. Because in Ukulele, there was the whole Cardo sky. Unless he's like in his own world that's just nothing but cart stages. That would be crazy. I don't know. There's something right there. That is clearly an opening. Oh, it's this clown. Run! Okay. I must go faster. I already messed up. It's too late. I'm dead. I'm not dead, but I'm not getting this guy. Unless there's a way. Wait, hold on. Get back here. Don't even think about it, man. He already made his sorrow cry. Yeah, I got you. I got him, and I lost Laylee in the process. Good going, little yellow ghost. Is this another one? What is down here? I guess I should do that first. I was hoping to maybe to kill the enemy first, because I know he's going to be in my way. Yeah, it's this guy. Well, he's the friendly one, though. Or the easy one, I should say. What? Where was there a Q brick? Or whatever you want to call it. Oh, man, right in his face. Come on, Laylee, get back here. I like that little notation. <laughs> what what else makes that noise? That's from a game. Oh, I, I can't. Oh, that looked like a secret. I thought I was gonna phase through the wall, and instead I smashed into it. Alright, we're way back here. Definitely digging this music, man. It just keeps getting better every stage. That's one thing I definitely appreciate about modern gaming, is the sound quality. You couldn't get bass lines like this on the old systems. Like, N64 was all MIDI and it was just not good. I mean, it was still pretty awesome, but not this kind of quality. That's really why I'm playing this game, man. I hear David Wise and Grant Kirkhope are doing the soundtrack to a game, and I must play it. And it definitely... This is straight Donkey Kong Country right now. I love it. What is up? Aha! We gotta go back with it. I was wondering if there was gonna be something like that at some point. Find something halfway through the stage and gotta go back. Oh, 
this guy's gonna be trouble, isn't he? Alright, let's just let him go past. What? Oh, I thought I could maybe stomp him while I was on the rope, and I learned... Uh, just throw it away. Throw it, I don't even care. I'm getting that coin, I don't care what they say. Man, I had to try and stomp his head. The temptation was too great. All right, we're back here. Oh wait, what, so the thing is right under here. So smash that, grab this, let's try this again and not mess it up. What? That's exactly my, whatever. We're just going forward at this point. That's annoying. I wish that I could just go back and do it, but now it took too much time from that last checkpoint to have to throw a life away and try again. So there's coin number three, okay. I should have number two as well, but I made too many mistakes. I don't feel like going back for it right now. So let us just continue. I like this rope-centric level. What? Oh my gosh, man. It, it's like I can do, um... Two or three levels, and then the slop just gets a little bit too excessive. Am I really that bad? Was I always this bad as a kid? Yeah, like Donkey Kong Country and stuff? Come on, Laylee. No, that's okay. We're getting you back. Come on. Ah, uh, whatever. I'm going solo. There we go. We got four. I should have number two. That's bugging me, but oh well. Yeah, hey, Mr. Mr. Toad, let's go. Oh no, hold on, there's a ghost in here. And a Laylee Bell, thank you. We gotta hurry up. Get out of my way, chubby! Dude! Alright. Go, 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 go. We're getting this. Oh, I fought that toad, man! Seriously, every possible thing that I could time wrong, I time wrong. Oh, I wanna stab myself in the forehead 800 times right now. So tall! It's a fun game, don't get mad, get glad. Not as good. I, I'm liking the Donkey Kong Country. I'm just mad at myself every two seconds. Okay. Now they're throwing in the enemy platforms. We gotta use. What? How do you overshoot them? Seriously, this is what I'm talking about. Every possible little new thing that they introduce, I fail 500 times before I get. Why? That never used to be a thing. Ah. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> Convenient place, conveniently placed bell. That's an instant crumble block. We remember that from the challenge. No, we're getting this. I don't even care. Watch this. Boom. Sacrifice the hit and get her back. There we go. I should have all five coins and then I would be okay. But... All right, you know what? We're getting this. Boom. Okay, we can chill out now. That should have been played perfectly, but it was not. Army of 20. We have 20 bees already? That's not bad. <laughs> Honey Sue. Nice. I only got 189 quills. Yeah, that was some sloppy playing at the end there. Every little thing. Yet we were so close to a perfect stage. Whatever. 20 bees. Nice. Now let's figure out this giant puzzle room that we're in. And then it'll be time for chapter 11. Well, that'll probably be next time. Keeping up with the thing so far, somehow. Okay, I see. We gotta get the momentum going on these things. Go on back and forth. Or do you just gotta stay on the side and then run for it? Nope, that's definitely not how you do it. Hang on. Let's try this again. No. Why did I do it again? I don't understand what my brain is thinking. What else is over here? There's a scorch berry. Okay, well, no matter what, we've got to make that jump. So let's not be stupid about it, how about? Slamming it? That kind of did it. It got it going a little bit more. Maybe we just got to run back and forth. Oh, yeah, here we go. It's a swing. There it is. Flip the switch. Oh, thank you. It made a staircase easily back to this. All right. Now, I did see a tonic up here. What do we got this time? Res resolution. What? What the heck does that mean? 
Let us answer that question immediately. Where is it? There it is. Very few pixels, just as you remember it on the Rextro Entertainment System back in the day. Oh, that was from the first game. There was the Rex... Rex... That's hard to say. Rex... Tro. X and T do not go well together back to back. Unless it's extra. Rextro. I guess it is easily said. I'm getting that berry, man. I thought I could maybe do it from the swing. I'm getting on there. Yes. Yes. Oh, I love it when things work out. It doesn't happen often when it's me. As we have seen. Oh. I don't even have to explain it. There isn't an example. Go fishing for an example or create a new one. Thankfully, there's that staircase. Very Banjo Kazooie. It's like a watery mining area, is what it sounds like. Yes, fast access to this. Thank you for making little checkpoints between every crazy swing jump. All right, we need that berry now. How do we get in there? Hmm. What else is in this room? Swings and another berry bush locked behind bars. What did the berries ever do? Another tonic. I kind of wonder if there's a tonic buried in the sand. That was a very... Oh, brambles. There's a tonic up there, too? Jeez. Wait, it just occurred to me we gotta make this swing and then make a run for it. It couldn't be simpler. Why did it take so long to figure that out? Come on, brain. Alright, now first things first. Melt those. Or burn them. There. Now we've gotta... Get this. And then, do we really need another one? I guess we do. For that tonic... Come on, hurry up! Yes, okay, that works. I will take it. Gotta make the jumps again, but at least it's clear. Was that the last brambles, though? I can't remember if there was one. No, it was a cage block in the next berry, right? So we should be good. Let's get the swing going. Let's not mess this up, please, for the love of God. I messed it up. Of course. You know what that means. It's time for a break. Pretty soon, after this. There we go, we really get the swing going. There we go. What do we have? VHS, another little filter. I don't know what that has, probably like uh, flickering lines and stuff. Oh, this is gonna be weird. I see what we have to do. We really gotta get the swing going. Come on now, or smash your head on the fence. That's another way of doing things. I just have a low tolerance for failure, I guess. There's too much of it. There's too much of it in real life to add it into fantasy life as well. It is a weird thing, though, because every gamer has their own skill that they bring to the table, so... Oh my gosh. <laughs> Something about the way Yuka smashes his forehead against stuff. It really does perfectly personify failure, I guess. That's not the right word, but... I was saying something. I don't know. I just feel like with this kind of stuff... Like I said, I don't know. This might be the very last blind Let's Play I do. Although I shouldn't say that. Because that's the thing. Whenever a new game comes out... If you do any kind of YouTube stuff or anything like that, there's like this weird pressure to do it as soon as it launches, so you're one of the first ones to have a fully complete playthrough of it or whatever. But I mean, there's no point in doing that anyway, because there's thousands of people who get early review copies anyway, and they have, like, the perfect playthrough. Huh? It's not an alternate? Did I forget to do something? Uh, or do we just gotta swing him? Oh, there it is. Okay, we just gotta get it swinging. Rerouted, huh? Okay. So, what does this mean? We were climbing a bunch of ropes. Got the same funky bass line. Same, still mellow, still good. Look, the ropes are swinging all over the place. Oh, okay, that's what's going on. They were stationary before. Wait, there's still water to explore. 
Hang on, I want that fruit. I'm loving that red in the background on those plants. It reminds me of the star fruit or the starburst plants in Metroid Prime that you see early in the Talon Overworld. Yes, all the underwater. Wait, no, we're going back in there to listen to the music and get this guy. I love mellow tracks that accompany water. I think I was a fish in a past life. I like water too much. But then I, again, I never really do anything with water in real life. I don't really go scuba diving or anything fancy. Whoa, that was close. What else is down here? I get cold in water really fast, too. Aha! There's coin number one. A little bit relocated, but that's all right. Yeah, and then you jump out to the funky baseline. I love it. Take me away, Mr. Rope. Ooh. I love that when they go launching into the foreground. It's just a nice little touch. Still got a fruit in my mouth in case you didn't know. Oh, uh, it's probably for this crab. But then again, let's set this up because I have a feeling this ghost is going to make me go flying. Uh, how do we want to do this? Do we even risk it? Sure enough, it's that guy. Uh... All right, you're out of the way. I'm going too slow. Why can't I make decisions faster? There's no way. This would have been probably an easy one. Yeah, his path was very easy that time. I just... I wait too long. Ah, well. Not gonna let it bug me. I don't think the yellow guy has ever dropped anything important, like one of those Q bombs. What the heck just happened? Laylee, come on now. There's no way. I don't know what just happened. Oh, how did I dodge that? Okay, what are we doing here? Get that goal, go, go, go. Nuts, I thought I had it. I did not. All right, attempt number 500 here. Uh, let's hope I do it, man. Alright, just ignore the crab. That, whoa, hang on now. Ignore the crab, I said. And now, can I please get this this time? This guy down here, this set of red ghost quills, whatever they're called, I keep on bouncing off of the one and then I die. Like, I can't get the rope again. No, 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 come on, get back here. Yes, okay. Oh my gosh, this is the furthest I've ever gotten. How do you do this? See, you can't just slide down. That's that mistake I made on the flip side of this, or whatever you want to call it. Finally, dude. That took way too many tries. Okay. Now what are we doing? I see. No, nope, get out of the way. Back here, all right. Let's pretend that didn't happen now. I've got a fruit again, and I see a five quill, or is that a ten quill? Let's see. It was ten. Alright, Mr. Crab, you're dawn. Please don't let me- Ah, immediately I regret it! Look at above me! That's why you hold the fruit in your mouth! Every time, dude, that's twice! That's twice in the same level, I've thrown away what I've needed! Hold on, no. We're, we're dying, I hit the checkpoint, we're gonna- I'm gonna attempt something here. I cannot tolerate that much failure in one video. We're going back and we're getting that. That's okay. It's still... No, that's still okay. I'm making this happen. I don't care. There is a way to go back. I'm going to make it happen. Okay. That's perfect. That's acceptable. That's even better. Come on, Laylee. Oh, if I got her back, I would have had it. That's definitely doable and I'm doing it. Out of my way, Nimrod. Perfect! I didn't know you could step on him like that. I wonder if I could have just gotten it that way. Yes, beautiful. I've got the fruit. Boom. It's as if I never hit the checkpoint, yet I did. And there we 
Waco. Problem averted. There's coin number two. Finally. I was not about to make the same mistake as the Q block in the other version of this chapter. Made up for it. Hit the checkpoint. We're good. Oh, they blocked off that thing. That was where the third coin was before. Okay. I'm really digging the bass line in all of these tracks. It's just so prominent. It's so thick. It's like the perfect tone that you would want. We're getting this. Come on, rope. Work with me. Oh, what happened there? Whatever. We're done. Jeez. I like this, though. It's been a very long time since I've played Donkey Kong Country or any game that had rope mechanics like this. Like, that used to be the thing back in the day. There we go. That's all you gotta do is time it and then go with it. Don't even look at the enemies. They're just there for decoration. It's about time, man. All right. Checkpoint, thank you. All those quills are now mine. Why does this have an arrow on it? This has an arrow on it. What? what? How did I phase through a solid thing? Did you see that? Oh well, no quills lost except for what was in this box. Alright, what is this doing now? Very slowly taking me along. These are gonna get fast later on, I bet. Just like in Donkey Kong Country. I love that moonlight effect. That is so cool. There's something up there. Look at this. That's awesome. I love little things like that too. I want to level with more of that. Where's that? Would that be too much copying Donkey Kong? I don't know. We know what. We're on chapter 10. This is chapter 10. So this is halfway. There's only 10 more levels. But that means there's still half of a game unexplored that's going to get more and more difficult. So that means there might be fast ropes, and there might be lots of cannons, and there might be minecarts. Who knows? Somebody knows. I don't know yet, and I don't want to know, so don't tell me. Although, I'm probably going to play this all ahead anyway. Is there... Ah, see, I had a feeling the radar was going off. That's awesome. Yeah, I just like to record games ahead of time. That way, if there ever is like a string of days where I'm working like crazy or something and I can't play, I can still release parts so there's no break in the uploads. But like if I played and released a part as soon as I finished it, then you might have to wait like five days before the next one goes off. So I prefer to stay ahead of you guys watching it so that I can prevent that. And there's only, only, I guess, one negative to that. Is for anybody who wants to be given tips or advice or whatever, like it, it can't even apply because I'm already ahead of it anyway. Because there's times like that where I see, like, how about next episode you go here or whatever. And I can't do that because I'm already, I've already played the next episode and there's a chance that I didn't do what you said you would like me to do on it. That's the only downside, but then again, does it really matter that much? I don't know. Oh! Man, this checkpoint is a little bit too far back for my liking for this. I died twice, nuts lot, make it three, please. Whatever, we're going. Look at that moon in the background. That green is just fantastic. Here's the B, that's not the end. We know better. Woohoo! Sure enough. Last coin. Yes, finally, all five coins. It's gotta be this way. What is down here? There it is, way down there, okay. Yum! Yes! Oh, it feels good to get all five. Well, now we can just go get the bee and we're done. Wait a minute, there's something over there. 
You hear that bass, dude? Just wah, 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 wah. That's like the McDonald's thing. I ruined a good thing. Beautiful. Chapter 10 was pretty neat. I liked it. I like the subtle environment and the ropes. Lauren sect. That's awesome. 361. Not a bad, not a bad go of it. Very nice. I'm liking this game, man, and I have a feeling it's only gonna get better from here since this is the halfway mark. I'm still curious about that hidden bee that's right by chapter five, though. I gotta figure that out. 21 bees! Yeah! Alright, well, next time we will do chapter 11, and hopefully I won't fail so much. See you then.